Hello everyone. Hope that you all are doing good. So in today's video, we'll be learning logging specifically in the package of SLF 4J, right? So today we will be coding an example using uh, the package of SLF 4J. And so we'll be using that logging today. So I'm specifically telling that we are using SLF 4J because there are many uh, different, different packages that exist for logging. Right. There is a uh, log 4J, there, there is SLF 4J, there is Java util package that provides logging. So we'll cover other libraries in some other separate video. So in today's video, we'll be covering about SLF 4J logging. Before jumping into the video, uh, I would like to request you that if you get to learn things from my video, so please like, share and comment on the video. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. First, start by uh, understanding that what is logging and why it is required so going by the definition uh, it is an api used to log messages for a specific system or an application component just to break apart and uh, make it a little simple it's like that when you are running some transaction on your code right there is some flow running in your code and you want to know that if in any case your code breaks then where it has broken so you can add logging statement that could be printed in your log file where you can track that on what point your code broke and then you can backtrack the uh, transaction and you get to know that where the uh, error came from and where your code has been breaking so in simple to understand language it is then the logger would uh, tell you the exact point where the uh, error has come now let us also understand that uh, we are talking about logging using Spring Boot, right? As I mentioned in the start of the video that we'll be using SLF 4J package. So why, why we are so much specific about Spring Boot? Because Spring Boot uses commons logging for all internal logging, but leaves the underlying log implementation open. Now by this, you might not understand that what it wants to say, but let me explain you in a simple to understand language that Spring Boot is like an umbrella, right? It covers all type of loggings, right? It has SLF 4J, it has log 4J, it has Java util package. So it provides, it opens up uh, the logging facility for all the libraries, right? It's up to you that what library you are using and how you want to use it. Because look, on in different, different uh, libraries, there are different, different levels of logging, right? So it's up to you that what library you are using. So Spring Boot is like an umbrella which provides uh, access to all the libraries that exist for logging. Now, uh, there could be a question that why we are using logging. There are other ways of my application broke at some point. There was some error that was not handled by me. I could have write, written a statement there by using system.println statement, right? Why we are using logging? So by going by the definition, logs are also useful to detect common mistakes users make as well as for security purposes. It is important that logs can provide accurate context about what the user was doing when a specific error happened. Right. So this is a kind of a bookish uh, definition of uh, why we should use logging. Right. Now someone can argue that, okay, uh, we can use system.println statement instead of logging. So the answer that I could find is that uh, a simple answer to that would be that uh, libraries like logger, SLF 4J, log 4J or any other libraries, right? So they provide a little more features and flexibility and improve the message quality while we run our Java program on maybe a Linux server or any other Unix server. But to make it a simple statement, I would say that just that it is uh, the logging is a standard set to for the industrial codes, right? Uh, it's not that we don't use uh, system print ln statements in our uh, industrial codes. We use in uh, system dot print ln as well as logging. But yes, a standard is being made that okay, logging provides a lot more of features rather than system dot print ln. Look, you can uh, color your log in a different way. If there is an error, you can color your log in red. If there is a warning, you can color the, your log in yellow. If there is, uh, I would say. Uh, some kind of info you can color your login uh, 
green color so it provides a lot more of features into it uh, and it also tells you that at what, at what point the log has covered that that needs to be written by you only that you needs to be defined by you that how the log would be printed that we'll cover in some subsequent video but logging is logging provides a little more features over system.println right but it's not that we don't use system.println in industrial code we use both logging as well as system.println so now a lot more of theory has been discussed on this topic so now let's go to the code and uh, as this would be a very basic example so uh, let's go on the code and let's see that um, what code we have written for this so we it's a simple spring application right now in this application you just need a single dependency right for your java util package for your log 4j for your slf 4j all those things would be covered if you import this particular dependency that is spring boot starter web right this covers everything right your log 4j slf 4j java util package everything it covers now it depends on you that what uh, library you want to use in your code right so i am covering right now slf 4j so uh, a simple this is my pom.xml it doesn't contain anything just that this particular dependency which we require right so now let's go to our main application so this is my main application so it just contain my main code right so now let's go to the controller part and you can see that what we have what i have written here is i have you, you simply annotated my controller by rest controller and i have made a logger object so where i have imported that logger from so that logger object is of slf 4j right and then we we are using logger factory right so i'm saying that okay you have a factory get me a particular logger for this particular class right so i am telling uh, my code that okay lo logger is the name of the object that i want to be assigned a, a log from your logger factory that could be defined on this particular class that is logger controller dot class right so now we will be using this object to display the different levels of uh, logs that we want to display right so I made a simple uh, method of displaying a string uh, and we have written that loggers printed above and these loggers would be printed in my console of this ID, right? So right now you can see that a very simple code has been written. We have just made an endpoint that uh, annotates with uh, request wrapping and the endpoint is slash log and uh, we have our main application we have our pom.xml where we have just spring starter web uh, imported dependency imported into our pom.xml so this is it that uh, this is uh, just a simple example that okay this is this will actually give you an idea that how your loggers work right basically slf 4j loggers so now let me go in the main application and let me run this code first so our application has started, right? You can see that our application has started. Right, our application is up. So now I'll go on the postman, I'll hit that endpoint, right? So our endpoint is localhost 8080 and slash log. I haven't changed the port for the code, so we'll use the default one, so slash 8080, right? So I have to send a get request, right? So I'll send the get request and let's wait okay so loggers printed above so loggers printed above is coming from uh, this particular endpoint that i showed you i'm getting that loggers printed above is coming from here and let's go in the console so okay our logs are printed and it says an info message a warn message and an error message but why not trace and debug message i guess i have printed all the five levels of logging then why it is starting from info right now let me tell you that why it is starting from info because the default level set is of info level right so info level is the i would say the lower level that has been set as a default so above info there is warn there is error right so warn and error will get will get printed but below info there is debug and trace so that's why debug and trace are not getting printed so there is a concept of default log level and also you can change that log level for your application
So now to change the logging levels and you want that your debug and trace log should also get printed. So go into your application or properties and change uh, add these properties in your application dot properties and now your uh, debug logs would get printed so our application has started let me hit the endpoint again and you can see that our debug log is also printed now so now if you want the trace log also then you have to change this to trace right and you have to save it again and let's run the application again so this is how you can change the logging level of your application, right? When uh, let me hit the endpoint again. So yes, so we have our trace log as well. So this is how you can change the logging levels in your application. So this was a very small theoretical. This was a little theoretical and a little little bit of programming example of logging. I'll further make some videos on logging and also cover logging in uh, any application that we develop in our uh, next videos. So uh, this was it from this video. Hope that you people like, share and comment on the video. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, happy learning.